want both of them out here? Yeah, that's fine. We're live. We're live. Alter Ego Comics live sale. The return of the Alter Ego Comics live sale. Join us, won't you? I was live last week. Pull up a chair. Alive. You were live last week? I was alive. Bad joke. It's like a Mark Fucker joke. I have music in my head now. Hope everyone's doing well on this Wednesday. Oh, hey, hey. Tell that guy to shut up. Don't say that. It's not nice. Hello, one and all. We're glad to be back with you on this Wednesday. Angie's with me. I don't remember what I was doing. Stage right. I hate it when I don't remember. There, I remembered. We have, uh, you know what? I should probably do last week's new releases since uh, I didn't do them. Well, let's do them as we go. You yeah, tell me if I can remember have. what they were. Well, we'll do like that. Here, entertain everyone for okay. a moment. Uh, hi, everybody. Hi, Dustin, Luis, Facebook user. That's nice. So the, oh, I just have to click over to Facebook to see Facebook people. So Mark is checking his titles to see what we have left from last week. There weren't very many, but he just can't remember. Uh, he's working on it. We have uh, a lot of new stuff up here on the wall. Oh, is the top row just old new stuff that you put up there? Back issues, Back yes. Issues. <laughs> oh, Mara has a new hamster, Nazuko. Hmm. Nazuko. Yes, we need uh, we need those Girl Scout cookies. Shurex. Yep. I have some kids that are going to have some cookie fun, I guess. Yes. We need, we need some Thin Mints. All right. Well, some housekeeping, housekeeping stuff to take care of here. <laughs> First, uh, if you are new to our live sale, please look for the pinned post and fill out that Google form so that we can mm -hmm. follow up with you tomorrow about the items that you've purchased. <laughs> uh, no, Matthew Barth, you're not showing up as Facebook user. Somebody else up earlier. It was the Buseys as yeah. Facebook user. I think that, uh, uh oh, okay. Yes, Demon Slayer, got it. That sounded like a Demon Slayer name, sounded like a manga name. But we're streaming directly to the Alter Ego subscriber group, the Alter Ego Facebook page and the Alter Ego YouTube channel all at the same time. Uh oh, now I'm yeah, I'm not seeing I'm not seeing who these people are. It says Facebook user. Can you click back and forth between Facebook and uh, then see the real people? Because we'll just have to do that. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Okay. Hello, mm, everybody. Let's see. It's a not, lot of not sure who had the uh, the bourbon and Girl Scout cookie combo. Uh, we're not seeing your name. You're showing up as Facebook user on our end. So. Well, we have more than one person showing up. Yes, that we way. now have multiple multiple people showing up as Facebook, Facebook user. user. That's okay. We'll figure it out. I can always look here on my phone. So what we're we saying, yeah, fill out the form if you're new, and that has everything you need to know. Uh, and then let me get the uh, oops, get this oops. scroll in here. The I got ticker. You now on mine. Get the ticker scrolling. I'm not a real people. <laughs> I'll be going through holding stuff up. I have no slides this week. Hey, Karen, thanks for joining us live. She's got her name. She's got her name. Uh, we'll be holding stuff up. No slides this week. So comment sold in the name of the item. And if we have it, we will verbally confirm with if you. If you're not showing up as a Facebook user, we will. Ah, Nathan is our, our other Facebook user. Had the bourbon and cookies, which I really want to try. I might have to try that this Saturday because I will be here this Saturday later in the day, because we have a concert here Saturday night. Uh, and Heath, thanks for the compliment on the shirt. I've become a big fan of uh, this. He's wearing color. This company, I think it's Results. But would not spelled the right way. Isn't it's like it? missing a letter or something. I don't know. The 
packaging said something funny. Yes, it's R S V L T S. They have a bunch of cool button down shirts. So I didn't order from the company. I saw the packaging once and yes, I knew it was RSV. missing the vowels. I'll remember the RSV because our, our, I our said, kids had RSV. I said, they? oh, who's got the RSV? So this is a cool Batman design that they just released. It's got kind of the classic Batman artwork on it. And it's a bright pink and blue, which is kind of cool. And it's soft. Yeah, and the cowboy hat. The cowboy hat would go great. It would. It's in our Sorry. Basement. I... I'm not into wearing them multiple times. Say your name for coming up as yes. Uh, if you're coming up as Facebook user, and right now that's uh, Busey's and Nathan are coming up as Facebook users. So but maybe if you want to be fast with your response, go ahead and type your name in there. And that way, if you're going to add we'll we'll whatever, it out. we'll figure it well, out. We're, we're smart. Not doing, we're not doing until the end. They don't need to worry about that because you got multiple copies. Of for the most part. Yeah. I, I set your stack Okay, there. so tonight, what are we going to do? We're going to go through. Yes, Kelly, we can see your name. Yeah, we see You're Tony showing up as Kelly yourself. So far, there are only two people that are not showing up as themselves. They're just showing up as Facebook user, and that's uh, the Busey family and Nathan Wackler. So <laughs> now, Ryan, you can't do that. You got to go to uh, RSVLTS. Dot com. I, I've got a, they have cool Marvel stuff, DC, DC stuff, uh, Goonies, Parks and Rec, all kinds of fun stuff. Chris gave it. A... Oh, okay. So Luis is helping us out here. Hey, Chris. Uh, and Chris, yep. Luis has said, if you're showing up as Facebook user, you need to give StreamYard permission to use your name. So there should be a, a way to do that. Thanks, Luis. And thanks, Chris, for chiming in on that. And Ernie is joining us over on the YouTubes. I know what your what your handle is, fried taters. All right, well, let's do last week. Yeah, you know what? We're not going to do that. Let's we'll, just we'll start do with do this Christmas. week's single issues. Uh, so I started to say, remember, remember, we have new single issues, new graphic novels, new pops, new action figures, a small, small, small number. No, nope, don't do that one. Small number oh, of, that one. yes, uh, back issues. I think I said that and about a half dozen or so trading card sets. So that is our plan for tonight. Uh, we have to be done by eight o'clock because we have a meeting, a virtual meeting that we need to attend at eight o'clock. Uh, not with our son, everything is fine. Not with a doctor, everything's fine. It's the beginning of uh, the annual Comics Pro Conference, which I used to travel to pre-COVID. Mm -hmm. We used to travel February to. Trip. It was our mm -hmm. February trip, always around her birthday. Uh, but it's virtual tonight, and the keynote is at 8 o'clock, and the keynote speaker is Raina Telgemeier. So we're really psyched to do that at 8 o'clock. Double check your pinning of the post. Uh, you know what, Karen? I think if you're in the subscriber group, you're not seeing it. Let me hop over there real quick. Um, da, 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 I, I posted it on the main page and not in the subscriber group, so let me, let me fix that. There we go. Okay. I just posted the some that they go they bought right up against that. So I just posted the link to the Google form, Karen, that's over in the uh, subscriber page. Let's see, Micah, yeah, I think you were one that came up as a mm -hmm. Facebook user, but give StreamYard permission to use your name. I think we got everybody covered. Now it's Questions as we go along, start. let us know. Let's start. Let's start the, the action here. Aquaman, issue number one. This is the new ongoing Aquaman series starring the young and the old, Arthur and the other guy, whose name I don't remember. I believe he's Black Manta's son. This actually, I enjoyed this. Uh, not a huge Aquaman fan. Uh, this is $4, by the way. Not a huge Aquaman fan, but this story did intrigue me. There's enough action. The artwork is fantastic. And uh, there's some, some drama between some of Aquaman's longtime enemies. So this and I is, like the art in the book better than on the cover. I think it might be the same artist. I, just, it, this I mean, that's like, a great splash page. Yeah. No pun intended. Ha, ha, ha. 
Uh, the artwork is really solid. Who's writing this? Why can't we put credits somewhere in the beginning? There we go. Script is by Chuck Brown and Brandon Thomas. Art is by Sammy Basri. Basri. Aquaman is available for $4. I'm just it's right number along. one. Angie's going to move me right along. Do we have issue number one still? Um, yes, we do. Can you grab that? What book do you have? Bolero. Bolero, issue number two is out. You probably wanted to read this. Now, Jim, bring it home. Go back to your left. Alphabet, B O L, uh, down, B -A. down, right in front of your eyes. There okay. you go. There you go. She found it. Bolero, issue two. We really like the first issue. I think it was Angie's pick of the week when it yeah. came out. Uh, issue number two is $6. This is an oversized kind of prestige format comic. We still have copies of issue number one. Do you remember what this is about? Um, there's something sci-fi. Yes, Caitlin, you did subscribe to it because you like good comics. I remember that. Uh, it's about a woman who's oh, yeah. kind of, her life is kind of messed up and she's given the opportunity to uh, deal with a talking cat or something that she allows can... her to... It's kind of like Change the multiverse the dimension thing. dimension that she's in. And, and that's what that one's about. Yes. Uh, so, Tony, are you picking up issue two or issue number one? And, Caitlin, we have you subscribed to it, so you're good to go with Bolero. It's very adult. Uh, they're yeah, definitely R-rated. Um, but it was, a, it was a good, solid comic. Different. Different than anything else. That's, uh, that's great with comics these days. Oh, and Caitlin, whenever you can bring the cookies up to the shop and I can settle up with you. Uh, I will be here all day tomorrow and all day Friday. And if not? And if not, you could always leave them. Uh, Tony wants to subscribe to Bolero. You can always shoot me a message what I owe you to. And he needs number two. Carnage Forever. This is a one shot that is leading into... The new Carnage series by Rom V, which I believe starts next month. This includes uh, a story by Rom V, as well as Phil Philip Kennedy Johnson, former guest on the show, Philip Kennedy Johnson. Uh, the first story, man, is creepy. I am not a huge Carnage fan, but if you are, you do not want to miss this really creepy first story. This is $5 for Carnage Forever. This is a one shot. And again, oh, wow. it's going to lead into a new, one of the stories leads into the new Carnage series. Who's the guy behind? Uh, that is Cletus Cassidy, who is the human. Okay. So let's see. Micah wants a copy and Heath wants a copy. My pick of the week is Ghost Rider, issue number one. And new. Carnage is sold out. Carnage is out. Okay, we're out of Carnage. Ghost Rider, issue number one, new ongoing series starring Johnny Blaze. Uh, I didn't know Keith's last name. Southerly, I think we just went for doing post-its. Six dollars for issue number one, oversized, written by uh, Benjamin Percy, who's writing Wolverine and X-Force, among other things. Uh, artwork by Corey Smith. I dug it. What can I say? I'm a huge uh, Ghost Rider fan from 90s. Danny Ketch was my ghost rider, but I still really like Johnny Blaze. Um, I think you'll dig it if you're a ghost rider fan. Oh, by the way, this is cover A, and I do have a handful of the Scotty Young variant, which is also six dollars. God, my eyes are horrible. Um, this is the Scotty Young variant. First come, first serve on uh, Ghost Rider. Please indicate cover A or B. This is cover B. This is cover A. Angela would like Ghost Rider cover A. Got it. Okay. And Tamara wants a copy of Bolero number two. What's the matter? Nothing. There's another file. It's going to fall apart. It's got too much stuff in it. Who else? Uh, Tamara wants Bolero number two and wants to subscribe. It's on your left, second book. I think it might be the last one. Yep, we're sold out of Bolero. Tamara, we got you covered. I'll write this down here. Uh, oh. Tony wants Ghost Rider cover A. Okay. Got it. 
and Spambot on YouTube has something to say. <laughs> Next up, The Killer, Affairs of the State. This is from Archaea, which is published by Boom. It is $5, and it is for those of you that enjoy spy thrillers. It is a very deep story. There's a lot of words in this, uh, and I believe it was originally published in French, so it is translated into English, but it's definitely a spy thriller. The Killer, Affairs of the State. $5 for issue number one. Okay, cover B. Right, Ghost Rider? Uh, Ghost Rider, cover B for Sarah, cover A for Doug, Derringer, Derringer, sorry, Doug. I'll ask you next time how to say your name. We say that all the time. I will. I, I think about that. it all the time because we have... <laughs> Um, You're gonna go into the whole name thing. No, again. just local people with the same last name, and uh, they they. It's a hard G, locally. Yes, Dustin, Dustin, and Caitlin, are you in the same house at this moment, or? Because <laughs> you're you're communicating via Facebook. But I love that, Dustin. We got you covered on the killers. Radio Apocalypse issue number two. Maybe you remember when this first issue came out about four to six weeks ago. It is written by Ram V, who contributes to Carnage this week and will be writing the new Carnage series. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Four dollars for Radio Apocalypse, issue number two. Um, really vibrant pictures inside. We do not have issue number one. Uh, we will check. Can you see if uh, Dustin, or just make a note, we'll pull one. You want me to open their file? Yeah. You know what? I probably won't do it right. Or you can just pull it up in uh, Comic Hub. I know. Just type in Dustin, D U S T I N. I know how to do that. Where'd we go? We went different places. Yeah, Dustin and Caitlin communicating upstairs, downstairs via Facebook. If you have a message for each other, just let me know. I'll pass it on. Is it showing aside? We'll make sure you're covered, Dustin. I'm Yeah, and then Shurik is the name you're looking for. Bright light. Bright light. We'll figure it out. Okay. Next up, I need Angie for this one. My nose looks red. Looks like I've been drinking and I haven't. Salty Seductions of the Salacious Seas. This is a one shot published by Source Point Press. It is $4. It is in black and white. And it's enjoyable. It is. It's humorous. And the cover is like kind of mocking uh, romance novels. And it's about a. Uh, a reporter and she goes off to find out about what's going on in this town. So, it's set in like the mid 1800s or early 1800s. Yes. And it's in Cornwall, England. That's where the supposed uh, people are disappearing. So, uh, and <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> what's the, the lusty Lord's Argonian? Name, what's the Lord, the guy's name in there? I thought it was Lord Hardwood, but it's Lord Harwood. But I kept reading it Hardwood, as didn't Lord you? Hardwood. Yes, yes, it's Lord Hardwood. There's nothing adult in this at all, um, but it's it involves mermaids and siren songs, and, and it's uh, just funny. It's just a it's a fun kind of yeah Beauty and the Beast era. Okay, we lost some people there. I need to know who it's. What happened? I need to know oh, wow. to go all the way up. Uh, sold salty. Okay, sold salty seductions to Caitlin. Again, it's a one shot. I've been trying more stuff, and the artwork is pleasantly good. Um, it's almost like Disney animation style. And I almost wanted to color it. Yeah, you can <laughs> use it as a coloring book. So Caitlin wants a copy. Uh, Ryan Weldy wants a copy. Brandon's talking about Elder Scrolls. Oh, yeah, and someone else is saying Skyrim. I don't know what's happening. You guys are talking video games. That's like a foreign language to me. 
So it's just those two? Yep. Okay. All right. We have interesting comics this week. We have Step by Bloody Step from Image Comics. $5 for issue number one. Written by Cy Spurrier. But there's no words. No words in this comic. It is visuals only. Artwork by uh, Matthias Bergara. It is a comic with no words. The entire story needs to be told through the images. And this is the first issue of a limited series. Step by Bloody Step. I'm trying to find a page I can show you. I didn't get that. Could you try again? My watch is talking to me. The art is fantastic. A girl wakes. She has no memories, no name, no language, nothing except a giant. That's the pitch for Step by Step by Bloody Step. And she does run into Sorry, people, I'm still, still not still sure not about talking. that. Interesting. Kind of like, oh yeah, someone talks, but it's a language that we can't speak. Okay. It's, be it's it, beautiful. It is really pretty. Who, who wants it? I'm putting it on the shelf. Okay, you're like, along. move along. Okay. I'm looking at the time, and I know what you got to do. Uh, okay, let's do last week's graphic novels. We have the first volume of the current Moon Knight series. Uh, $18 for Moon Knight Volume 1. Again, this is the current Moon Knight series. We have the first volume of Sweet Paprika. This is $17. Humor, Romance, Contemporary Women. <laughs> Those so are the I categories. I read it again because, uh, you know, I read the beginning. Mirka and Dolfo's Sweet Paprika. And does she do the art in here? I think she does. Is that Moon? She does. Moon yes, this is Moon Knight. Uh, okay. Kelly McClure picks up our last copy of Moon Knight Volume 1. Again, Sweet Paprika mm -hmm. Volume 1. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. We talked about the first issue when it came out. Endlessly charming and deviously clever. Like Sweet Devil Pap Dad. Sweet Paprika is a must read for fans of off kilter and raunchy romantic comedy. It, and it was funny. We have the first volume of Ordinary Gods. This is the series by Kyle Higgins. Uh, creator of Radiant Black, $17, collects the first six issues. Uh, beautiful sheen on the reincarnating immortal story with a real emotional bleakness beneath that surface. The first issue, I remember, was the family around yeah. the dinner table, and the sister turns out to be more than she appears. Ordinary Gods is good stuff. Got the first volume for 17 bucks. Speaking of cool stuff, we have The Princess Who Saved Her Friends. This is the new book by Greg Pak. Uh, first one was The Princess Who Saved Herself, and we had that one. This is $17 for this hardcover. If it's written like the other one, it's more of a picture book, less graphic no. novel. No, it's a graphic novel. It's a lot. Uh, like the you're panels right. Are okay. Bigger, it's, more, it's easier to read. I'm saying it's a great picture book for parents to read compared to reading a little graphic novel. And that one's sold. Sold to Dustin and Caitlin. I figured you guys would pick that up. I think you bought the first one, too. Uh, we also have Spy School, the graphic novel. This is adapting, I believe, a series of novels. Uh, bah, 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 bah. It's about a 12-year-old. His mission is to survive the science school that is really a front for training junior CIA operatives and try to get the girl. Objectives. Find the devious double agent who has infiltrated the school. Two, try not to die. Three, prove to everyone that you are capable of being a spy. Save the day and try not to look like a fool while doing it. Uh, $13 for a spy school. Do you want to get single issues off the wall or do you not remember what they are? Ah, I'll pass. Well, can okay. you grab that flyer off the top shelf? On your right. Yes. Oh, wow. I don't know how that got up there. Somebody put it there. New this week, we have the soft cover of Deceased Hope at World's End. This is like the second volume of Deceased. So there's Deceased and then there was whatever the the sequel was. So this is between this takes place I believe during the original Deceased storyline written by Tom Taylor, artwork by oh, Marco Fela. Artwork looks really solid. I did not read this when it came out, so I am looking forward to checking it out. This is $18 for Deceased Hope at World's End. Uh, I think this is a series that our child read 
Maybe. And uh, no, Soul I don't know deceased to Luis. Hey, Luis, I sent you an email too about the uh, Illuminati comics. I'm not sure if you got it. So if you could check your email, let me know if you want that comic. Otherwise, it's going out on the floor. Alex's pick this week, and probably would have been mine and Angie's too if we would have read this whole thing last night, is Eve. This is the complete uh, story in one volume, $18. When the ice caps melted, most of humanity was lost to the hidden disease that was released. Now a mysterious girl named Eve has awoken in secret and must deal with a world that's nothing like the virtual reality she was raised in. This is a great story uh, by Victor Lavelle, artwork by Joe Meek Young. He will take the open body. Uh, sold Eve. We have multiple copies of this Eve. Is to... That is to Angela O'Brien. Got it. Uh, Caitlin loves Eve. That's awesome. We do have a couple other copies. And Luis, uh, well, I'll add that Illuminati comic to your list tomorrow when Alex sends out invoices. We have Not All Robots, Volume 1 by Mark, Mark Russell and Mike Diodato. I uh, really like the first issue, and then I stopped reading because that's just how I am. I read collected editions now. <laughs> and uh, I think it was Alex's pick of the week, too. So this is, you know, robots that uh, are, there's a robot in every household. And... It's like the people are the pets and the robots are, that's the take I got from that first. Yeah. But it's um, a not, not all robots is shockingly relevant satire. That's what Mark Russell is excellent at. Shockingly relevant satire. Pat Oswalt says, not all robots. Read his new comic and read everything Mark Russell does. He is brilliant. That's from Pat Oswalt. This is only $10. $10 for this volume. This might be the complete volume. Nope, volume one. The captcha, I missed it. There was a captcha. And it was oh, not our robots. Get it? Okay, this one is super cool. <laughs> Snow Angels Volume One, written by Jeff Lemire, artwork by Jack. This was originally published digital only, so this is the first time in print, and it is Volume One. It is twenty dollars, and it's about a family, a father and two daughters, who are trying to survive in a frozen wasteland. There are three rules of the trench. The trench provides, you must never leave the trench, and the trench is endless. I read it last night. I really enjoyed it. And ta-da, we've got signed book plates signed by Jeff Lemire and Jock for this while supplies last. So your copy of Snow Angels will be signed by both the writer and the artist. Writer Jeff Lemire, artist Jock. Snow Angels, Volume 1. If you like kind of uh, Snowpiercer, post-apocalyptic, frozen wastelands, and great family emotional storytelling, you will like Snow Angels. Dustin wants a copy. We have several copies available. I recommend it. Wolverine, Volume 3 by Benjamin Percy, he who writes the new Ghost Rider this week. $18 for Wolverine, Volume 3. We also have the second omnibus for the seven deadly sins. We still have copies of volume one, if you would like that. So this collects the individual volumes four, five, and six. Uh, let's see, $20 for the seven deadly sins omnibus volume two. Woo. Sorry. I'm fine. We have a Star Wars young reader book, Star Wars The High Republic. This is Mission to Disaster from New York Times bestselling author Justina Ireland. This is a prose novel set within the Star Wars High Republic. Um, $15 for Mission to Disaster. Um, Deadly Sins, Volume 2. Sold Star Wars to Luis. And Angela, I have one copy of Wolverine, Volume 1. I do not have Volume 2 in stock. Volume 1 is also $18. So let us know. And then our final book this week is a new board book. Marvel is there pumping these out. I think we had Dr. Strange like two weeks ago or three weeks ago. Now we have Thor for $11. This is my first, my mighty Marvel first book, the mighty Thor board book. Fantastic for toddlers, 
that you want to grow up to be superhero fans. They can eat the book or drool on the book, do whatever. $11 for the Thor board book. All right. Like Angela is going to grab Wolverine number one. I Luis, I will order you a copy. Can you put that down? Of Wolverine number one? Yes. Okay. Oh, this was the last week. Okay, let's do this. I think we're going to run out of time. We're going to have to. We're going to be good. We told them we'd be done by eight. We've got a new, um, whatever this is, Master Stars piece statue okay, of this guy from Attack on Titan. Uh, Aaron is $26. This is from a canceled pull file. <laughs> we ended up with this abandoned statue of young Aaron. We got a couple of those back here, don't we? $26 not guy, for however tall you are. Actual size, color, style, and decoration may vary. Great. Sticking it back up there. We've got a couple new pops. Fennec Shand from Book of Boba Fett. $13. Is that right? Yes. $13 for Fennec Shand. Heath's wants a Ghost Rider cover A. Is that back there? Yeah. Better in the Better Late Than Never department, we have the Star Wars Valentine's Day edition of Ahsoka for $13. She is holding a box of chocolates. And from the what will soon be on Angie's desk department, we have Grogu with cookies. Not sure if the Buseys are still with us, but Mara may like Grogu with cookies. $13 That's for kind of me eat a Grogu with I've cookies. So what else do you need? Okay, I'm sorry. It's all right. You're good. All right, if you're a fan of Mego figures or Young Frankenstein, we have a Mego Dr. Frankenstein figure for $17. Mego Dr. Frankenstein. Frankenstein. You can make your own uh, Sound effects robot color. chicken shows. 17 bucks for... So it's Selena Kyle. Who's that? Oh. Okay. That's a pop. And that's who? Tony. Okay. And we just got in the big honkin' Hulk. This is the Immortal Hulk Marvel Select action figure. Big and everything? $30. <laughs> multiple heads. Multiple hands. Giant figure. I mean, this has got to be, I don't know, an 8-inch, 9-inch figure. He's big. And he's heavy. And he's green. Arrgh. Hulk smash. Immortal Hulk, $30. Hmm. Hmm. We'll do comics first. Okay. I put these up here. I know. We'll get there. Multiple pants. He does indeed. All right. Let's move on to back issues. That would be a real problem. Uh, Luis would like a Hulk. Okay. We have Superman Batman. This is a set of 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, written by Jeff Loeb, artwork by Michael Turner, reintroduces Supergirl to the DC Universe, $20 for Superman Batman 8 through 13, which reintroduces Supergirl, sold to Luis. Right. We have Justice League, The Nail. This is a three-issue Elseworld story written and drawn by Alan Davis. Each issue is also signed by Alan Davis on the inside front cover. $15 for the set of three, Justice League, The Nail. This is the story of what would have happened if Ma and Pa Kent's truck ran over a nail and got a flat tire and never found Baby Clark. Baby Superman. That's not sold yet. It is now. Okay. Tony's going to pick up Justice League the Nail. Got some half-off trades. We got Rat Queens, Volume 1, 
five dollars for Rat Queens Volume One. We have Rough Rider. Rough, <clears throat> I have uh, Puberty Volume One. I have Rough Riders Volume One. This is one of my favorite series from Aftershock. Uh, it's kind of like Leave Extraordinary Gentlemen with Teddy Roosevelt leading the charge. Volume one is ten dollars. We also have Volume Two, which would be nine dollars. You can pick up the pair for nineteen. Fantastic storytelling by Adam Glass and Patrick Olaf. Oh, I did remember reading that. that was We've really got story. the complete. So I have the complete hardcover at home, so I don't need those. This one is way old, coming off my bookshelf and straight into your home. We've got X-Men, the Executioner's Song. This is a, an early printing. This might be the first printing in graphic novel form of Executioner's Song. Uh, published in 1994. 1994. Sold Rough Riders to John? Yep. So half off this would make this $13, $13 for Executioner's Song. And we have Amazing Spider-Man, 500 covers, 1962 to 2003. Uh, it has all of the covers in this hardcover. 500 covers of Amazing Spider-Man, originally $50 on sale for $25. It's a great coffee table book. Is this also your book? This was my book. Yep, I'm cleaning out the cleaning out the office, cleaning out the bookshelf. There's a great page there that's got the first black Sold costume, Spider-Man. Spider yeah, but Luis is going to pick that up. We're going to move on to some trading cards because we got to run. All right, let's see. First up, we have a complete set of Lion King trading cards for five dollars. Lion King complete set. This is uh, ninety cards. For five dollars. We have an incomplete set of Punisher trading cards for ten dollars. Uh, originally 50 cards in the set. Looks like we're missing about a dozen for Punisher trading cards. Ten dollars for an incomplete set. Tony's going to pick up the Lion King. Okay. Let's go with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the cartoon, complete set plus stickers, $20. This is 88 cards, 11 stickers from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Nickelodeon cartoon, $20. Have a complete set of Robin Hood Prince of Thieves cards. This is a complete set of 88 cards plus nine stickers for $15. 88 cards, nine stickers, complete set of Robin Hood Prince of Thieves, starring Kevin Costner, Christian Slater, and Morgan Freeman, and Alan Rickman. $15. Let's go with, we have an incomplete set of Star Wars, hmm? no, incomplete set of Star Wars Galaxy cards, uh, originally 140 cards, and we're missing about 15. Uh, this is $25, by the way. Star Wars Galaxy trading cards. This is not a complete set. It's missing about 15 cards. $25. Great set of uh, Star Wars cards with some really great artwork. Yeah. Mark Howell is going to pick up the Star Wars cards. Jurassic Park, complete set of Topps trading cards. Uh, I'm not sure how it's all the cards plus 10 stickers, <laughs> all the cards, 10 stickers, Jurassic Park, $25.
Did you say that there was the rare test issue for the Robin? No, I don't think that's true, actually. (laughs) That makes me laugh. Anyway. We have a complete set of three Stooges trading cards. This is a bunch of cards, like 79 cards. $20 for the three Stooges. Complete set. Stop it. $20 $20 for Three Stooges trading cards. I set them down. Does anybody remember the Three Stooges? Yes, people remember them. They're not the only ones. See, Louise said yes. He remembers. We have an incomplete set of Star Trek, the motion picture trading cards. Missing uh, approximately one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. Missing seven cards and the stickers. It does not include the stickers, and it's missing seven cards. Star Trek, the motion picture, trading cards, $20. The curly shuffle, John, yep. The curly shuffle. Remember when you could hear that on the radio? No. You don't? I don't, but I didn't listen to the radio a lot. We have an incomplete set. Mm. Uh, Spider-Man Ultra. Of Spider Man Ultra Fleer trading cards. Incomplete set. $20. Missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. Spider Man Ultra Fleer cards. I believe this is 1994. Missing however many cards I said. About seven. Eight, seven or eight cards. $20 for the Spider Man Ultra Fleer cards. And our last item tonight, we're actually going to get home to watch this thing. Mm -hmm. A complete set of Marvel Universe 1993 cards. It is monstrous. This is the complete set. A whole bunch of cards. I'm looking at, uh, what, 180 cards. 180 cards. Marvel Universe 1993. $30 for the Marvel Universe complete set. 1993. $100. And... 80 cards for $30. What's, what is this guy? Is this new? Oh, that is new. I'll offer that up to you. Is Gargoyles new? No. Nope. Uh, there is another new action figure set. We have the new Ultraman and Red King five points set from Mezco. That's Ultraman and that guy plus the diorama. For $35. Five points is the same style that the Batman 66 is. Assemble the included diorama to recreate the battle between Ultraman and Red King on Tatara Island. 35 for Ultraman and Red King. Five points. Okay. That is it. We'll give you uh, 60 seconds to claim anything that uh, has already gone back on the wall or to ask questions. Uh, And then we're out of here so we can fly home and get home by 8 o'clock and watch Raina Telgemeier's keynote for the Comics Pro Conference. I don't think you told them that that's what it was. I did, I think. Yeah, at the very beginning. I don't think you said Raina's name. Dustin, Caitlin, talk to each other in person now, like from downstairs to upstairs. We're not going to be here to act as your go-between. You need to actually go talk to each other. (laughs) Snow Angels is $20, John. Includes the uh, signed book plate by Jeff Lemire and Jock. Uh, Mark Howell wants uh, Ultraman. Ultraman. The action figure set. (laughs) No, I guess you're right, Dustin. Let Caitlin do her homework. Where's this Ultraman? Right there. Okay. That's for Mark Howell. That's for Mark Howell. Yep. Okay. As always, you can watch this video after the fact and claim anything that's still available. Uh, And I will comment later tonight or tomorrow on that. Kelly, the Spider-Man Ultra uh, cards are $20. It's a whole bunch of them. It's only missing about seven. The pop between Batman and Riddler is the Selena Kyle that you already picked up, Tony. 
Uh, any of the cards that didn't sell, I think we're going to put them out on display in the store. So if you want to check them out, flip through them, you're welcome to do that. Thank you for hanging with us tonight. Good to see you all again. We will be back next week for another Alter Ego live sale. Until then, stay safe and be well.